Now, through the course of various episodes that we've done on air pollution right here on FII, you by now know what is PM 2.5, what is PM 10, what sort of gases are actually going to be cancerous, what is said to be absolutely toxic for your health as well. So the next step is then how do we deal with this problem? Air purifiers, so many of them now in the market, do they really work? Another thing doing the rounds is these air purifying plants. A lot of them now being talked about in the market and people saying, well, they can purify your air and they must be kept uh, inside. Lots of sales happening online and offline for these air purifying plants as well. So we thought, let's do a quick fact check on this and understand, do air purifiers, all of them, some of them, do they work? And do air purifying plants, all of them, some of them, do they work at all? So without any further delay, let's get started with our explainer. Important to understand what exactly is the job of the air purifier in your house right now. What is it exactly that it is filtering out? Now it is filled, it is designed mostly or most of the air purifiers out there in the market currently, the big brands easily available, will take out dust, will take out smoke, will take out pollen. Filters do not catch gases. Let's be very clear about that. Another thing that they do not catch is something called a VOC, that's volatile organic compounds, or any random adhesive, paint cleaning, dry cleaning products as well. The smells that you keep hearing, they don't talk, I mean, they can't filter that out at all. In fact, the Environmental Protection Agency also goes on to say that the functionality of the air purifier is limited to terms of filtering out gases. And that also not all gases, remember. Which gases do they not filter out, we'll tell you. The most important thing in your air purifier is, by now you should know, your HEPA filter. There are going to be several filters over there. The most important is HEPA filter. HEPA filter you now know because of the new updated norms post-COVID is now made mandatory in all hotels, is now made mandatory on all airlines as well. So the government really making sure that the basic level is covered. So HEPA filter is key. HEPA, what exactly is it? What does it stand for? It's an acronym for High Efficiency Particulate Air. HEPA filter basically captures the various size particles within the multi-layer netting that it has. It is composed of dense sheet of small fibers pleated and sealed together with metal or plastic uh, sort of several frames as well. HEPA filter also come in different categories. Which category works for what size of roof is something that we'll take forward in our conversation as well. But, you know, it all really boils down to if you are still thinking about buying an air purifier, that is if you don't still have one and you want to buy, what exactly are you looking for? Right? That's the information that everybody needs. So for that, you need something called a CADR. That is your clean air delivery rating that air purifiers have. The cleaning speed of purifier of removing smoke, dust and pollen. And you must also look for a clean air delivery rate. Now, clean air delivery rate, when you're buying, ask the person selling this to you or online when you're looking for it, check that it should be at least 300. If it's above 350, that's going to be a good buy for you. It should suffice in a normal Indian size room, that is. You will need a model that will work for your room size. That, of course, will differ from model to model, from brand to brand. So do check that up. And also, very important to check if you're buying an air purifier is the verification that comes from AHAM. That's the Association of Home, Home Appliances Manufacturers as well. Now, true HEPA filters are effective at removing ultra fine particles as well. HEPA filters also, like I said, have degrees. Uh, the key to remember is if it's a very high efficiency of HEPA filter, it will need to be changed more often. Also remember that if it is a very high intensity and very high quality HEPA filter, it will take longer to sort of filter out your air. So keep that uh, sort of dynamic in mind. Don't think a lot of people go with their AQI meters in hand and try to check at the outlet, which is very quickly filtering out the air. The you know, the time it, it's taking to filter out the air is not so much important. What's really important for you is to see how much of purity are you actually getting and then it will depend on various other issues as well. But that's all you need to know about air purifiers. But what is this whole deal about oxygenated 
plants right or air purifying plants now if you like me go to a lot of online websites even to buy plants then you see a new category there that has come up which says oxygen plants or air purifying plants what are these do they really work that is the question that we raised and we looked at some studies over there and to be fair not a lot of studies speak very highly about these air purifying plants this one study that we bring to you today has been quoted quite extensively nat geo is talking about it several other magazines quoting them as well this is the journal of exposure science and environmental epidemiology a very respected journal and they go on to say that house plants through uh, though charming do little to purify air in the room that's what scientists say also they say that plants have negligible impact on indoor airborne volatile organic compounds also adding that indoor plants may have a positive impact on occupant well being well understand what well being is it could mean different for different people but the downside is that indoor plants may have increased humidity as well so basically saying it's not going to cure it's not going to filter out the air but it does have some positives as well 